Um, what was it? Eh, no. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna mention a, uh, Son of a, a certain, bitch! A certain show that, uh, Zendaya was in. Oh, you mean Euphoria? A.K.A. Yeah. that show that everybody is now declaring as being terrible? Nah. It's not terrible, but in ter okay, in terms of story, it is all over the place. In terms of, I guess, characters, it is very 50-50. In terms of the visuals, it's really good. But everything else is just 50-50. Like, everybody goes around acting like Euphoria is the worst thing ever, or, like, the worst show ever made by H by HBO? HBO, right? But, I think it kind of... I don't know of what you're talking about, so don't ask me. <laughs> yeah, I've never of, heard of it. it. Um, it features, I think, Zendaya in there. And she yeah, it's, really it's basically, if I remember correctly, Euphoria is a show about literal teenagers doing drugs and pretty much going through, quote-unquote, the euphoria state of doing drugs and such. No. This well, does not sound anything new here. Yeah, yeah, but somehow people have started to now talk about it and say how bad it is, and I'm just sitting here in the background going, have you people even seen an episode of Riverdale? That shit's insane. Yeah. Or just almost oh, like a lot of the a lot of the sitcoms back in the like the nineties and such where kids were doing drugs or like, you know, they're getting <laughs> in trouble with Whatever well, the hell it was. I think it's not even... Well, it's also... The show, but mostly the the criticism that I've heard commonly from this show was the sexualization of the characters. Which, from personal experience, okay? Not saying What's this that racket? Encouraging of, you know, Sorry. topic at hand. But, um, what's it called? The sexualization of the characters. And which, from personal experience... It's not far off. Like, it doesn't mean that I condone it. It's just that it, it's not far off from what I've seen in schools, especially. God damn it. Like, I'm not saying this to be like, oh, I've seen, like, my a, um, a classmate of mine wearing, like, a BDSM outfit in school. No, that's not literally what I was saying. Oh, good but, God. But <laughs> I've seen, like, girls, or at the very least, people my age that wear, like... Oh, very vanilla outfits, like a crop top, maybe, with, like, maybe some pants, and that's literally it. Either that or some e-girl shit, or any kind of outfit, really. But, other than that, I don't think it's that far off from reality. It doesn't mean I condone it, it's just, you know, something Me. that's kind of... It's like the, am I wrong, or are they wrong kind of way... It doesn't mean that we condone it, it's just something that's, you know... Odd. Odd, mm. yeah. Again, like, I think one of the strong suits that this show has was not the character writing, because, oh god, the writing of characters is just weird as fuck. But, um, the visualization where they reference, or at the very least, uh... Damn it! Oh, what's that term? I really love this term. I used it so much with, um, when it comes to... Oh, what was the term? What was the term? I don't like English. What was the term did I use? What was the term? What was it? Okay, Golden, you can unmute Misty. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Um, I found it. Ah, uh, no worries, Misty. It's just that while you were gone, there was noises in the background. What yeah, kind yeah. of noises? Like there was rattling, sound like somebody was talking. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Um, no, you're fine. You're fine. fine. Damn it! Um, that's another. Um, damn it! You just got put into like the no-no timeout square. But, but... Uh huh. Oof. Um, basically the intertextuality of the series. Dang it! It didn't pick up. I'm sorry? I just popped a cold one and I was hoping my mic would pick it up, but it didn't. Oh. Oh. Discord, get your shit together. But yeah, we can hear you take those little itty bitty sips all just oh perfectly. Adorable! Itty bitty teeny wee. <laughs> Yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. 
Ipsy bitsy, sippy whippy, nice cold <laughs> ice cream just for Misty. <laughs> 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 what suddenly i'm a little kid am i the little kid in this group yeah actually I'm don't answer that so you're a tall yes. tall horse don't okay you're a tall tall no. child i mean adult kissy, give me kissy no, no, kiss. mm. i'm on the call hey. no, give me kissy. no i'm not giving her a kissy <laughs> yeah, but like, she I'm wants kisses kid. rustic give her kisses so, she's your wife so does every other woman in this world I don't want you to kiss me! I got a boyfriend, thank you! Do you want him to kiss you? Yes. Okay, see, so there we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone somewhat knows this, but did you know that Gangster's Paradise was actually a sampled song? I'm not surprised. <laughs> a sampled song of what? <laughs> Um, Pastimes Paradise. It has the same, not only title, but also kind of the same, uh, interpolation. What, what's it called in music? Interpol. Are you talking about melody or rhythm? Um, or rhythm, sequence? But also the title at hand. Lol. <laughs> Someone in the so chat is saying, You gotta kiss the girl. <laughs> nice. But yeah, it has like I think the same melody or the same title because Pastime Paradise and Gangsters Paradise and whatnot. So I'm assuming they probably just sample a part of the song, looped it, probably recontextualize it, and then m insert their own versions of or insert like individual like melodies and things like that in between the yeah. chorus part. I think the chorus part was honestly the most sampled part out of that whole damn song. Oh, absolutely. But well, isn't that typically where you put your sample? Like, if I was sampling a song, the chorus isn't the chorus usually where that goes, or if I just listen to too much of an M. It, it could be really anywhere, technically. Yeah, yeah it, like, you could I know take it like, be. yeah. I mean, you could take like I don't know. I could take like any like um, ringtone, and then if I want to incorporate those notes into something, I could always put it either in the chorus or I can put it in the uh, the bridge or wherever I want it to go. I think this is similar to um, a recent one, which was Olivia Rodrigo's "Good for You," and it's kind of the same thing, but. Um, the context in this is basically, I think, Paramore or Taylor Swift. And since, I think, since they, some people pointed out how similar it sounded to Misery Business, they kind, she kind of gave some more of the props to Paramore or Taylor Swift rather than, like, you know, in terms of the sales for the song. Nope, that's not Yeah. It. That happened with another song, uh, it was called, um... Oh, it's from um, the Tom Tom Club, and it was called—I uh, think it was called Boyfriend or something. If not, I might be uh, for forgetting the name of it. But it was the part that was, and it was actually—is it? Um, is it? Um, I know. Oh, I I know which one you're referring to. It's um, yeah, Tom Tom Club's um, um, Genius of Love. Yes, that's the one. Thank the you. One that and has someone... it. Yeah, someone literally like lifted the chord bass line and just threw it in there, and they weren't even hiding it at all. Um, music's very interesting because you can recontextualize, rechop, remix, and then you can insert it anywhere you want. But sometimes it can be blatantly obvious, which I personally find annoying because that rips kind of like um, an authenticity from a musician away. Yeet. Oh, you finally got it, Golden Knight. <sighs> yep. It took me forever oh, to figure shit. out. Like, I haven't played this game in a while, so I had to, like, wander aimlessly to find out, oh, there's a secret, like, staircase you have to activate. I'm done with that stage. I'm ready to go on to the next one. No, I, I, I hate that. I hate that stage, to be honest. I think that one's just too cryptic. Seven hours later. <laughs> Galaxy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I Golden. love Golden, do you mind if I put her in the sink and then turn on the disposable? Well, the disposable. Oh, Jesus, I forgot about that. 
Deffy, why are we Deffy, 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 you do Deffy. that, do that, and you've got another gremlin to worry about. Oh. And this gremlin likes to tickle. And I got my tickle hooves ready. For a second, I thought you were going to do something like triggering. You know, in terms of trolling behavior. <laughs> I thought he was going to go down to BDSM town. Oh! I mean, yes, please. I'd be down for that. Me! <laughs> uh, oh sorry, that I was mean, sorry. Okay, wait, wait. I'm just going to point out. As much as a lot of us would be down for that, we are on a public live stream. That's what I was going to yeah. say. I uh, apologize uh, for that. So, welcome uh, to the last ever stream by Golden Fox. The Twitch mods <laughs> are Golden closing in fast. And only forever. <laughs> the mods are coming fast, and we only have so much time. Uh, Let's party like it's Y2K and freaking go rob a Best Buy. Oh God, Golden! <laughs> I mean, it could be. I mean, it could be worse. In Minecraft. I mean, it could be worse, guys. It could go into fucking Fifty, um, 50 Shades territory. No, <laughs> no, no. That is something we don't talk no. about. No. We don't talk about that. We don't no, talk like... about that. We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. no. We don't talk about Bruno, no. Hey, Master Code. Get... Hey, Masties. Hey, Go Master ahead. Code. Here's something that I don't get. This this song ends up being one of the, I think, number one songs in 30 years from Disney. It had a nomination in the Oscars, and yet they didn't win. <laughs> We'll no, they him. didn't. God. He, she's complaining because uh, we don't talk about Bruno wasn't in nominated for an Oscar. No, because... I mean like the artist itself. That's associated with the song. Lin, Lin, Lin Manuel Miranda. Yeah. Hmm. I Wait. mean, are you surprised, Galaxy? Are, are oh, you surprised with? Hi, Dusky. Hi, Dusky. Hello, Dusky. No, but are I'm you talking about the yeah. sheer fact that this has like? I think, like, again, number one in the charts since 30 years, and yet it doesn't have a, um, you know, like an actual win against everyone Galaxy, else. sweetie, dear, dear, yeah. sweetie. It's the Oscars. Oh, yeah, know, it's... Up like... from the mic! Ow, sorry. Ow. ow. You, you need to remember, Galaxy, these were the people that were so apparently desperate that they that people believe that the whole stupid slap incident was staged just for the Oscars to get more viewers. Damn it! <sighs> but here's the thing. It doesn't sound too far off of what they might legitimately do. You know what I mean? Because they are de they're desperate. They really are desperate. Yeah, yeah. and... From the way that they try to bring humor into their stuff, it kind of shows. <laughs> is it? Has it? Is it? Been, has it been confirmed that it was staged, or is it still a legitimate? Problem? No, but well, okay. it still looks weird, though. If you look at the footage, no, I mean, it's not been confirmed, but everybody seems to agree that yeah, there's definitely something that made it come off as staged, staged, or at least just off, like. For instance, one thing that I kind of noticed that someone else pointed out was it, like, I'm not saying it was fake, but it does look like Chris Rock was either sick, like, I'm not saying signaling for him to do it. It looked like he was expecting to get hit with something. Yeah, especially really? considering how out of nowhere it happened, like, just him walking on stage, no security guards going to stop him. Yeah, there's like, that going on. Like, what the hell was that all about? I mean... I'm not going to deny it. it. looked, it was probably the best thing that's ever happened at the Oscars at this point, but it was def it looked ah, definitely it. staged. Listen, I'm expecting, if, if this happened oh, at the Grammys, I am God. expecting a full, like, fucking knockout at, uh, I mean, the Oscars, I'm expecting a full knockout at the Grammys. You know, speaking of this, it's so funny you mentioned that, because this just popped up, and I'm putting this in meme cache to counter, and you got to watch it. It is... Fucking hilarious. <laughs> A funny I, thing too. The fresh slap of Bel Air. You gotta watch that. It is oh God. fucking hilarious. I I should probably mention this too. The oh Grammys are literally like this Sunday. Yeah. Material Gore! Oh gee, I can't wait for them to constantly go on and on about fucking Machine Kelly. 
Are we still on for our party, Gremlin? <laughs> yes! I want to yeah. do, like a, okay. like, a really cool, like, formal party. Okay, I, I, I know, I am very well aware that when it comes to award shows, they can be full of shit. But I do hope that, you know, some credit is given to Don FM from the weekend. Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, actually, I don't think that's going to happen because ever since the last time with um, After Lights or After Hours. After with, Hours, um, yeah. After Hours, um, the weekend was so incredibly pissed off with how um, the Grammys were with um, his work that he basically <laughs> forbade them from ne from not putting his music um, on their um, on their website. I mean, on their What um, happened their exactly? <sighs> Let me look up what happened. Cause it, like, didn't um, didn't uh didn't Blinding Lights win a Grammy? Um, let me look up what happened. Okay. Let me look up what happened. But I do remember there was an incident where like, like something happened where he got pissed off at them, and he basically told them to not ever mention his um his work at the award show. Uh -huh. Oh, here it is. Um, found it on TV Trump's website. Most everybody within even a passing interest in him come the new 20s, from fans to pop nerds, were shocked when the 2021 Grammy nominations were announced and Abel was completely shut out, even though 2020 was a major year for him and After Hours became a huge critical and commercial success, with Blinding Lights becoming arguably his biggest hit. Mm -hmm. Because of this, he completely excluded his future label releases from being submitted for Grammy consideration entirely so so, be so I, because the grammys basically said uh, um we're not gonna we're not gonna even bother including after hours or anything from it on our um on our nomination the weekend basically said, told them ooh, you, you were saying death he basically just kind of said you okay you know what fuck you guys you, my next mute whatever album i release afterwards God. you guys are just, not gonna be putting it for the nominations. So that they basically snubbed his music for whatever reason and he didn't approve of it. Yeah. Yeah, basically. I was to about be to say that they snubbed the shit out of him. Why did and they do it again? Like I'm still trying to process or understand this. I don't know why they didn't include him to be honest. Probably Probably for some bullshit excuse like they always pull, like how they'll be like, oh, we just didn't get to do it because um, the music came out a little bit past our um, our uh, choosing roster or something like that. They'll do that. They've done that. Okay, then save it for the next year. Oh, mm. damn it! Oh, I was oh. so fucking close! Uh. Oh, here it is. It's um, a giant shame. Wikipedia says widely accept expected to receive multiple nominations for After Hours. Tessafe Tess Fay was shut out of any nominations from the 63rd Grammy Award Show in March of 2023. He criticized the Recording Academy via social media, claiming corruption. Speculation arose from the announcement from his then upcoming Super Bowl performance, as well as dispensing of being nominated as a pop artist versus R&B contributed to the snubs. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So basically, he was a little, he pretty, uh, a lot of people believe that the reason that he wasn't included for the Grammys for uh, 2021 was either because of the Super Bowl performance, as well as the fact that they were like, oh, we're probably just going to put him as a pop artist, even though majority of the of After Hours was it's r and It's synth. It's fucking synth wave. Yeah, but you know how the Grammys are with their very pickiness. Well, believe it or not, I don't really watch the Grammys that often, so I wouldn't know. But at yeah, the same time, picky. I'm not surprised. When it, like th this is once again, whenever it comes to award shows, they're hot garbage. That's why yeah. I like. Okay, so from my personal experience, <clears throat> I didn't know anything about the Will Smith incident until like the morning after. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, okay, if this happens one more time, I'm just gonna leave the stage and go elsewhere. I mean, especially if you're gonna keep losing your hat, that's not gonna go well. Apparently yeah. not. But this is something similar to, um... Oh, who was it? Tyler, the creator? Because he was apparently, uh... Oh, what was it? He was nominated for being a rap artist, or at the very least, someone who makes rap music, even though Igor was literally not rap music. 
Yeah. I mean, he was happy to be nominated for a Grammy because, hey, the dude had been vying to be to win for a Grammy for a long while. That but doesn't mean that he wasn't vocal about the nomination that he was in. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised either, considering that, you know, he hasn't been rapping for a long while. Uh, the new, the recent um, albums that he did for, uh, the recent albums he's done are completely, like, they still have rap, but they're not the sole focus of his career. Yeah. Like it too. Stop. Punch oh. Lakitu in the face. Punch Lakitu in the gonads. Oh, finally. Jesus. Will you accept? I love how you make that sound here? after. Hmm. <laughs> what are you saying, Riley? I know. You don't even bother finishing the sentence. I, I know where it's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Will you accept Synthwave as your lord and savior? Synthwave yes. is, uh, is perfect, please. Will you yeah, yeah, no, try the eternal vapor wave? Yes. 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 <laughs> no. Would you accept my religion? I run a church of Skeletor in another server. Uh, I am in the Protestant Church of the Midnight. We God. welcome you in. We welcome uh, you in yes. with a nice rendition of Days of Thunder. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, what's the name of that uh, song that was contributed to uh, Point Break? Oh, oh, that was um the one. No, because that song made me want to see that movie. It was. Wait. Uh, Endless Summer. Endless Summer. Oh, yes. He was, they made an orchestral version of that recently. Dude, that makes you emotional. Like, it plays more attention to the lyrics and stuff, and it's mm -hmm. orchestral. Oh, that's It's so good. good. Yeah. Yeah, no, they officially make orchestral remixes of some of their Vaporwave stuff, and it still keeps the same spirit. Oh, damn it. But it's also different enough that it's not just like, oh, it's this, but in chords. Mm -hmm. It's The song is slightly redone like a remix, put in orchestral, and then they'll, like, turn up the emphasis on the lyrics, so you actually get a different experience of a song, of two songs, talking about the same thing. I love it when people do that. Okay. Yeah. But regardless, also regardless, I would still, yes, uh, like, the, there would be, like, sub-churches of Synthwave from, from, like, different artists. Like, I can imagine a church for uh, the weekend, and we would all stand up for their anthem. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Oh my god. Maybe you yeah, can no. show me how yeah. to love. Yes. Yeah, Goldie, we, need, we need to do the religious rite of the flash mob. It is a religious rite. <laughs> we must yeah. show off our our superior deity DJ deity's best music by doing a flash mob to bring it to the people. But you do have to admit, religious arguments would be really cool. It would just be your favorite artist having, like, getting on turntables with, I don't know, the person they're trying to fight. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> That, that's the holy biblical fights. Every, it's like yeah, all, it's like all rise. I said, Ooh, I'm blind by the lights. Oh, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. Your junk? Yeah. Did you see your junk? Yeah. No, I thought, I thought it was your god for a long time. I didn't know it was your touch, so I thought you were. No, no, no. <laughs> your, your junk that works. Okay, oh, that's my god. That's my yeah, that's that's, that's my. That is my canon Wait. now. Wait, uh, Aeon, have you seen Kung Fury? Um, Kung Fury, is that that Kung Fury of the Fist movie where they did a dub over it and it's like really no, funny? No, 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 that's the, Kung the... Pao into the Fist. Yeah, okay, no, yeah, that's Kung, Kung Fury. Okay, is have like... you seen Kung Fury? Fury, it's like a fan-made, oh, like, Fury. love letter to the 80s movies. Oh, I need to see it then. <laughs> oh my god, how come um, all of you have not seen wait, Kung Fury? I, I am just really upset. Point out one thing, point out Kung one thing. Fury. There is a movie that I need to see, and I think most... I, I know this, I don't think, I don't know if this would appeal to you, Dusk, because it is centered around, it's a movie based around a music genre called Drive. And they actually commissioned a Vaporwave soundtrack for it, and it is a Vaporwave, regarded as, like, the I know what you're talking movie. about. Ooh. I need to see it. Oh, I really ooh. need to see it. I will have to see that. That is on my bucket list now to watch. Because I have not seen that, but I know what you're talking about. It's, like, very similar to OutRun, right? Freeze. What is that? Wait, or maybe it was, or maybe it was Outrun. Because Outrun is more of like the heavy, like, <laughs> maybe. and Vaporwave is more of like kind of the dreamy, um, well, instrumental, should... recontextualized, yeah, drawn out stuff. Well, yeah, it also depends on which Vaporwave you're talking about, too. Because I'm... Oh, some... damn it! Oh. Well, but the thing I'm, I'm saying, though, is 
I remember it, there was either the, the movie either was a vaporee movie or it inspired it because of the synth soundtrack oh, and the neon more. aesthetic. Oh my god, yeah. The neon nineties aesthetic. I love that shit. Yeah. Uh, also, more. vampires. That the saxophone in there is that's probably the best saxophone I've heard in a song. Yeah. Uh, dude, a saxophone nowadays is such an underappreciated instrument. Oh my god! No, until I rediscovered the midnight, I forgot how prevalent it was in the eighties and nineties, and how much I actually kind of miss it. Because I remember, yeah, because uh, it, it be was now? used a lot, like family matters and shit. No, but do you remember uh, who can it be now from um down, down under? Now. Yeah. Uh, men at work. Men at work. Yeah. What was I'll that? I was thinking of different. Oh, uh, on that note, did you know that uh, in the after hours, um, one of his uh, one of uh, weekend songs is uh, has a um, has a saxophone solo. Mm -hmm. It makes I've it better in your eyes. Yeah. Oh. Bum, bum, uh oh. Bum, bum. I love that song. Hey, uh, if Golden. Yes. Did you know that um, on Ghost's third, um, was it fourth album, prequel it, mm -hmm. it's actually a song that has a kick-ass saxophone solo, too? Oh my god, I gotta look that up. It um, is, it's, the song's called, I think it's Mamisa, and it has a, and like, it starts off pretty badass, it's an instrumental, and then out of nowhere, fucking sax hits. <laughs> <clears throat> See, or sax solo from Careless Woods. A lot of people keep uh, like referencing uh, the Careless Whisper for um, like when it comes Me to the sax. Yeah, it's it's become a huge meme. Nah, 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 you know the funny nah, nah, thing nah. is, is that within like context or meme or like meme material, they often use it in like a romantic attraction or something like that. But when you look up the lyrics itself, it's about getting busted for cheating. Yep, it's a really yeah. like sad song. It, yeah. I'm never gonna dance again. This feeling got, got no rhythm. God, I miss him. Oh yeah, George. Uh, George. George. I, I keep forgetting his last name. Um, George Michael. George, George Michael. Yeah. I love him in Faith. Oh my God, he was so hot in Faith, but he was just hot in general. You know, he was just one of those type of uh, grand, like one of those type of musicians that he just he 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 left too soon. What's also more depressing. Is that he died in his sleep of a heart failure on Christmas morning yeah, of all days. Go. That's the worst day to die on. I think any day is pretty bad to die on. I mean, uh, okay, true, <laughs> but you know that one day you're just gonna pass on one day, but you would not want to die on Christmas. L listen, you don't know yeah, when you're supposed Christmas. to go. You are contracted to go on a certain day, and you don't know when that day is. So. <laughs> <laughs>